You want your family to be secure. You don't want to be, um, you know, jumping in and out of buses and, you know, it's cold right now. And you never know what's going to happen when you come here. So you now everything is so unpredictable. New York City is currently experiencing a, a historic crisis of homelessness. There are more homeless New Yorkers in New York City shelters uh, than at any time since modern homelessness began three decades ago. You're going to see an uprising here. The public cannot afford to continue to do what we've been doing with homeless, where everybody has a right to shelter, whether they need it or not. The public at some point is just going to say to their elected officials, I don't want to pay anymore. Up until last year, I didn't need help. I was a working mom. I was married and everything like that. And so now I pay all my taxes and everything like that all my life. And now that I fell down in hard on luck, it seemed like, you know, this is the way you get treated. The failure of Mayor Bloomberg's approach to the problem of homelessness is really at the core of the problem. It costs more than $36,000 a year to shelter a homeless family. In comparison, a rental assistance like the Advantage program or like federal rental vouchers only costs $10,000 a year. The Bloomberg administration really did make uh, a commitment to work with homeless families. Last iteration, of support came in the form of something called the Advantage Program, which was a voucher for two years um, for rent, which helped a lot of homeless people get out of the shelter system. State decided to eliminate last year, eliminated subsidy to this program. And then the city is sitting there saying, what, am, what are we supposed to do? We don't have the resources to fill in this loss of funds. Advantage was a very strong and powerful incentive for people to get a job and a very important tool for people to be able to leave the shelter system. And it was the best way to structure it because it incentivized work, it supported families when they were first working, allowed them to establish themselves in the community. It kept a roof over my head and it kept my son in a clean area and uh, he had his own bedroom at that time and it, was, it helped me out a whole lot. Um, I was able to buy more clothes and groceries because of the rest subsidies. We wanted to continue it and we strongly advocated um, throughout the uh, state really that it was very important to continue advantage. These are kids that are really being set back so the cost to society is not just the dollars and cents cost and the cost to taxpayers, it's really a cost to these kids uh, who are really losing opportunities that they would have otherwise if they had their own home. The city has one of the most, or I think the most generous homeless assistance program in the country. Uh, we are under uh, court mandate and agreements to provide uh, sheltering services to anyone who needs it. It's actually less expensive over the long term <clears throat> to provide people with that kind of rental support than it is to keep them in what is a very expensive shelter system. That's frustrating to me because it's stupid. I just felt felt so insecure about everything and it just felt just felt terrible.